Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is the value of a property is increasing at a rate of 25% every year. By what percent will the value of the property increase after 3 years? So in this question, we have to find out the percent by which the value of the property increased by 2 3 years. So in this question, no principal is given. So first we take the let the principal is equal to rupees 100. We take the principal as rupees 100. So this will be our principal. So now first we will find out the amount that will stand at the end of 3 years that means the total amount we will find out so for that a rate of interest is given 25% per annum and time is given 3 years so therefore we write amount at the end of 3 years Amount at the end of 3 years or you can also write the value of the property after 3 years, anything. So that is equal to principal into 1 plus rate by 100 to the power n. This formula. So now I put down the values. So principal we take as 100 into 1 plus rate is 25 by 100 to the power 3. So 25 and 100 we cut it here only. It will become 1 by 4. So now 100 into... Take 4 as the LCM. So 4 into 1, 4 plus 1 to the power 3. So now 100 into 5 by 4 to the power 3. So now it becomes 100 into. So 5, uh, this number will be written 3 times. So 5 into 5 into 5 by 4 into 4 into 4. So first 4, 1, it becomes 25 here. And, so, and now nothing can be cut. So you have to multiply the numbers. So, so first 25 we write. Into 5 into 5 into 5 that will be equal to 125. By 4 into 4 that is equal to 16. So 25 into 125. So it will become 3125 by 16. So therefore this will be the um, uh, value of the property after 3 years. And now our final task is we have to find out the uh, percent of the value of property. So therefore percent is equal to. So, so uh, it is nothing a great task. Only have to minus 100 from this number. So that will be 3125 by 16 minus 100. Only this much and we will get out the percentage. So now 3125. No, we will write 16 first. Now 16, uh, 3125 we write. So minus 16 into 100 that is equal to 1600. So we got 3125 minus 1600 by 16. So that will be equal to 1525 that minus by 16. So now start dividing 1525 divided by 16. So first we cut by 9, so 9 for 16 is 144, and remainder 8, 5, so now 5 is 5 is 80, 5, so now you cannot cut anything, so now I have to convert this into mixed fraction, so to convert this into mixed fraction first we write 95, then we have to write this 5 as a numerator, that means 5 will go up by 16 will come down, so percentage. So this will be our final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions.